Hey, what's up, everyone? Corey Parks here with Hydra Help 91. Wanted to show y'all a quick video of a recent helical pier project that we uh, just completed in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, this customer had came to us with their engineer report already in hand. They'd already reached out. It's actually it was a general contractor that had come to us, um, and they was needing the front portion of this house supported. Um, for some reason, we didn't get the best picture of the front of the house, but this picture right here shows, if you can see my mouse uh, right under this window, there's a crack there, and then very vaguely you can see a crack running down here. Um, so this engineer come in, uh, he recommended five um, helical piers or, or steel piles, depending on who you talk to is what it's called, along the front of this house. So I'm just going to take you through the uh, timeline of this project and what it looks like. So this was before we started. There's the front of the house. This customer asked if we could replant the, uh, the bushes there, which is not a problem. So this is uh, us getting started to expose the footer and get the footer prepped, uh, sewer line and water line. Uh, we actually hit that water line. We had to uh, get that repaired. <clears throat> um, here's the footer. So this big, uh, it looks white in this picture, but this concrete um, piece here, this is the footer that runs under pretty much everybody's house. You know, if your house is you know, 180, 90, 100 years old, it may not have this type of footer this thick, but this is a good, uh, good representation of what a footer is. Uh, we've dug on down past the footer and up underneath. There's a better picture of up underneath. <clears throat> so in this picture you can see a lead section. This is what we call a lead section. This is the first piece of the helical pier that goes into the ground. It's got a spiral shaped, um, some people refer to it as an auger-like plate. Um, they actually call this a helix. Uh, they come in different sizes. Um, these, this first section could have one of these, two of these, or three of these, uh, and I'm sure they can custom make them, you know, depending on engineer specifications and stuff like that. But this is the first piece that goes in the ground. <clears throat> so there it is. You see another extension laying right here that we'll put on top of that uh, and continue going until we hit uh, the correct pressures um, that the structural engineer set forth in his report. Um, or load bearing sole is a good way to put it as well. Um, our sections are bolted together with these galvanized nuts and bolts. Here's the end of day one. We just covered all this up in case we got a little bit of rain or anything like that. It don't saturate the dirt. So we've hit our needed depth down to load bearing sole. Um, and then we put our bracket on, which is bracket goes up under the footer to support the house. We put our T-block on top, our threaded rod, and then we put our jacks here in the middle and another block, and we use the jacks to lift up to, to pull this plate up to raise the foundation. Or in this case, this contractor only wanted to stabilize. They had already done some remodeling and drywall work. They did not want to recrack that. Um, so they just wanted to stabilize and not actually lift. There they are driving the, I believe that's the fourth pier. You can see we had to dig out the whole, pretty much the entire front of this house. There's the machine we use with our attachment. Here we are getting ready to finalize everything and get ready for backfill. You can see uh, some piers down there as well. So we're cutting this threaded rod off so that it sits below grade so that it don't stick up above their mulch or pine needles or whatever. And here's the final product. And here is after completion. So we've put the dirt back um, we compacted the dirt as we put it back, but we still uh, we still ever tell everybody, hey, there's going to be some settlement, uh, and also we like to build it up high against the house. We think every house should have the dirt built up against it to get proper 
proper slope away from the house so that the water runs away when it rains. So you can see there, it's 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 high, but we know it's going to settle some. But either way, we want that water to run out here in the front yard, not up against the house. And so this is the final project um, or the final product for this customer. Um, just wanted to take y'all through a little walkthrough of what helical piers are. If you got any questions about foundation repair, basement waterproofing, um, any other type of leveling floor, structural repair, mold remediation or encapsulations, re reach out to us. Uh, we'll do it, love to do a video for you or just simply, if it's just by email, we'll just answer your question if that's what you prefer. Um, and uh, you know, if we can ever do anything for you or if you need your uh, crawl space or basement or foundation inspected, uh, please let us know. Uh, you can give us a call at 704-813-9554 or you can look us up online at hydrohelp911.com and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to see more content like this. Y'all have a good day.